What's going on you guys? My name is Lloyd and today we're going to talk about how to get a feminine woman. So most guys who are watching this, they're looking for feminine women. And when you look on the internet and everything that you learn in school, you're like, are there any women that are comfortable being feminine these days? Is feminine like a poison that they are all avoiding? It seems like every woman is trying to be a man, trying to be the boss, trying to ha move forward in her career, make all the money, be independent, don't need no men. It seems like women are trying to be all of the men. That is a lot of just promoted by the media, okay? It's sexy or it's nice for the media to talk about women being men, but in reality, most women love being women. Most women are at their core craving to be in their feminine on a regular basis. They just haven't found a man who brings that out of them. Now, if you wanna be that guy, then you gotta be in your masculine, okay? Being a masculine guy is a beautiful thing, despite what the media tries to prove to you. They try to tell you that you are being a toxic person if you're masculine. That is not true at all. They try to tell women that you're being oppressed, being submissive is bad in a relationship. That is also not true. There are plenty of relationships where women are taking advantage of, but being a masculine does not mean that you will be taking advantage of other people. There are plenty of positive masculine figures out there, and when women are the most comfortable, when they can finally relax and turn their brain off, which is at the end of the day what they all crave, they are in their feminine. Now, the reason why women crave this so much is because on a daily basis, women go through things that are very different than us guys go through. For instance, they're walking down the street, they're more worried than we are. Women are smaller, they're more of a target. And they do sense when people are staring at them. And it happens a lot. Yeah, it can be very stressful to go through life as a woman. As a guy, you being in your masculine allows them to completely relax. They don't have to worry about walking down the street. You know, you see a lot of videos online where women are posting like, how I feel with my boyfriend using, not even using one single brain cell. And they're freaking happy. To be that guy, you have to be in your masculine because there's so many women these days that are stuck in their masculine at their job, taking care of chores, responsibilities, all of that stuff. They're in their masculine all day and it's exhausting for them. You can be the person that brings them out of that, that allows them to relax and truly smile and embrace themselves as a woman, okay? Masculine and feminine, although they are very different things, they go together like a magnet. A feminine woman really wants a masculine guy. A masculine woman really wants a feminine woman. And even the most boss babe, I don't need no man, ultra feminist woman, at the end of the day, even she craves being put in her feminine. She just hasn't found a guy to bring it out of her. Okay. Now it's not all men's fault. Let me just say that. Okay. There's some women who like really need to learn how to let go because they've been programmed their entire life and they've been fighting it their entire life to be put in their feminine. Yes. And you know what? It's, it's not your job to train them on this. Okay. But you can do things that are going to make it more likely to bring it out of them. I'll give you an example. Okay, so one time I was dating this woman um, and she was a bartender and she was the kind of girl who would basically just like order guys around. Like guys were doing everything she asked. They were following around all the time. I, that's how I met her, okay? She was ordering guys around, you know, getting pretty much whatever she wanted. So we go on this date and I can tell she's doing the same thing that she does to like the hundreds of other guys that she's been on a date with. And which is just like, she wants to go a certain place, different from what I chose. She wants to go do something after that I didn't choose. She wants to hang out with some people that I didn't really want to hang out with. So most guys, when they're on a date, they're just excited to go on the date. So they're like, yeah, if you want to go there, no problem, we can go there. You want to go dancing after? No problem, we can go dancing after. You want to go hang out with these people after? No problem, we can do that. I didn't do any of that shit. I said, hey, I know you want to eat there. Why don't we eat here instead? And we can go to your place next time. We'll go dancing another time. This time, let's go here. I know you're gonna love it. Now, compromise is okay, but rolling over is not. We did what I wanted to do. Was she annoyed? Was there some pushback? Yeah, she was annoyed. There was pushback, but I didn't, I didn't cave. Now, is there a chance she could have left at that point? Absolutely. And I think she thought about it, but she didn't do it. And she decided that she was gonna go on this date the way that I had planned it. Because if you let her plan the date, if you let her lead, if you let her make all the decisions, She's being the guy. You can't have two guys, even if it's a gay couple. One usually takes on the more masculine, one usually takes over the more feminine role. Even in gay couples, that happens. But in a straight relationship especially, you have to be in your masculine if you want her to be feminine. And she's been in her masculine for so long, so there was definitely some pushback. But I didn't let up. I picked where I wanted to go. 
And you know how that date went? It went freaking great. We went to the places I want to, we hooked up, we had a great time, I saw her, I dated her for a while after that. But it would have never happened if I had done what she wanted to do because I've done it the wrong way before and I'm sure you have. Maybe you've planned a date and she's like, hey, why don't we go here instead? And you go to that place and you feel like the date went well. And then for some reason, she just like, the text messages start getting less and less. And then maybe she might even text you something, hey, sorry, I'm just not really feeling the connection I'm looking for, or I'm not really feeling the spark, I'm getting friend vibes. Okay, because you let her lead. The masculine feminine connection, the man to woman experience is you lead, she follows. There's not a partnership dance on the planet where the man isn't leading. And the reason why this is, is because partner dances were designed for people who were looking for mates. They had to see how you led the dance, how comfortable they were being in your arms, whether you were taking care of them during the spins and the falls and, the, and whatever. If you could catch them, it's an exercise in romance and love. The guy's got to be the rock who leads the relationship. And if he is not, if he is not reliable, if he's not responsible, if he is not someone that she can trust and see moving forward, then she is not going to follow that guy. That is why women give you so many tests when they're dating you. That is why they are more choosy with who they pick to sleep with than men are, because their requirements are that she has to follow you. For guys, it's a bit easier. You know, we don't, uh, <laughs> her requirements are definitely less at least to sleep with the person. Dating and marriage, not so much. Kind of flips the other way. So what you gotta do to exhibit more masculine qualities is practice leading that dance. Be more sure of yourself. That's what you gotta do, is you gotta make sure that you're in the position of leading. And when she gets a little bit of pushback on you, you gotta be like, okay, you don't react. Reacting is it's getting too emotional, that's being in your feminine. We don't wanna do that. You wanna be just this calm, understanding, empathetic presence and then continue to decide what you guys are gonna do. In my own relationship, if I say something, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that my girlfriend's gonna do whatever I say because she knows I'm not going to tell her to do anything that she doesn't wanna do or that isn't good for us. She trusts me. And if you have someone that trusts you, then it makes it a whole lot easier. Trust is a big part of this, but she also has to respect you. If she doesn't respect you, she doesn't think you're a capable man, then not only is she not gonna sleep with you, but she's definitely not gonna date or follow you. When a guy isn't properly in his masculine, the woman's feminine will take over. She will start making the decisions. She will start being all pissy and naggy and mean because the guy's not fucking stepping up. And if he's not stepping up, then she feels like she has to take over. She's annoyed by it because then she has to start thinking. Women don't like thinking in a relationship, believe it or not. They do enough thinking elsewhere. They'd rather just not think in this one. So when you're making the decisions, when you're taking charge, it gives her the opportunity to relax. Be that person. Yes, it is more responsibility. Yes, it is gonna be harder at the beginning in certain areas, but the rewards are much greater. So um, if you've learned anything in this, it's yes, you can attract a more feminine woman, but you need to be more masculine. That's number one. Number two, the way to be more masculine is to learn how to lead. Learn how to lead the relationship, okay? You lead, she follows. And number three is you gotta stick to this because if you don't, she will stop being attracted to you, she will stop being wanted to be with you, and you'll lose her. So not every woman's gonna be down. It's okay, and this is not to say that you have to boss her around constantly. <laughs> no, 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 there's, there's always compromise. But when it comes to the final decision and the general direction things are heading in, that's on you, man. So I'm gonna tell you a few things about where to find feminine women, where you can do that. Um, you can find them everywhere, usually the same places that you would do it, but by making attempts and, making, uh, and going after women in a way that is in your masculine, and this is approaching women, this is messaging them first on a dating app, this is going to parties and events and you know, leading people to different places, being the center of attention, those kinds of things are being in your masculine, okay? But you have to make the attempt to do them. If you're just sitting on your ass and hoping women are gonna come to you, that's you being in your feminine, dog. And yeah, sure, it happens if your mate value is of a certain level, and then at, but then at some point you still have to take charge of the thing. Even if she approaches you and comes up to you and makes it very clear that she is a crush on you and wants to date you, you know, she still wants you to ask her out. If she's the one pulling all the weight, she's eventually gonna get bored and leave. And you're gonna be like, well, I don't know what happened. Like at the first she was really into me and she wanted to go out and she was saying all this stuff and then she left. Well, it's because she wanted you to take charge at some point. Yeah, sure, it started out her being in the masculine, but she wanted you to take charge. Okay, so you guys, 
from the get-go, you, you do all that. So I can't give you specific areas because they're literally everywhere. But if you look in most places where the, the most masculine women are, are probably going to be at business events and that sort of stuff. But even there, don't let them intimidate you. If you're intimidated by a woman, you can't be in your masculine. She won't be in her feminine. She won't be attracted to you. Okay? So lose the intimidation. The places that I would normally look are places that are you know, going to be historically like um, you know, chock full of women who are doing, like women are going to be doing feminine things, men are going to be doing masculine things, and the places that they intersect on is typically either if it's a social event, nightlife, um, it could be like dating apps, um, really all the places that you can think of. Everywhere you can meet a feminine woman. And in fact, I'm going to come out with a list of places to meet high quality women in another video. So if you want that, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to come out with that too. Okay. So guys, that's how you attract a feminine woman. If you want more information about this or you want to become a more masculine guy who can get a feminine woman and not someone who's going to be super bossy and just you know, unpleasant to be around, you know, if you want this kind of woman, contact me, book a call, get coached by Lloyd.com. You'll book a meeting with either me or somebody from my team. We'll talk and we'll see if you're a good fit to join our program. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.